time for a special good news story. We're headed to the Hometown Heroes Parade right here in New York City. With us now is Mount Sinai South Nassau nurse Mariana Paredo. Good to have you with us this morning. Now, you, are you actually at the parade route right now? I'm actually on the grounds right now. We haven't started yet, but we're going to start, I think, about 11 o'clock. It's very exciting. I think this is probably the most important ticker tape parade we can have, especially now. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience as a nurse during the pandemic? What was it like for you? Obviously, COVID was really hard. I can speak for all my healthcare workers when I said it, it when I say it took a mental toll, emotional, physical toll on all of us. I am a float nurse at Mount Sinai South Nassau, so every day was a different patient assignment, different patient population. So it, was a, it had a lot to do with adapting every day and just making it through one day at a time, one patient at a time. You know, there's there's so much to be said for the communication factor that these families relied on. And oftentimes you were that voice, that intermediary between the patient and their families. Um, it, it had to be very uh, taxing on, on you emotionally. Oh, emotionally, it was really rough. I can say that we were probably the only you know, lifeline to the outside world our patients had at that time. We would try to facilitate FaceTimes when we could. Unfortunately, the majority of our patients were very short of breath, even with a couple sentences. So we would update the families over the phone, pass along notes that they would want to send to their family members because it was really hard, you know, to go through that and not have your family. So we kind of became their family. And when you think back or you think about those days and nights, you were home by yourself reflecting what did you take away? What did you learn about yourself? I think the thing I learned the most about myself is how much resilience I have. Um, I've gone through hardship before and nothing like this. Um, just being able to overcome and wake up with a purpose every day. My job felt very important to me. It felt like the most important job in the world at the time and we were able to make a difference. And with that, I learned that I could be very strong. I can, I can get through anything if I could get through COVID, so. Um, we're watching you and behind you, a whole drum band is showing up. I'm very excited about today. What does it mean to you? I know, I'm so, I'm looking forward to this so much. What does it mean to you? This means so much for me personally, all the hard work, we're getting recognized for all of it. I'm so proud to be from Valley Stream, to be from New York with all my fellow healthcare workers. My family is standing right here behind me. I come from an immigrant family that came from Bolivia. I'm making them proud every single day. So I'm here, you know, just, just living in it right now. And so your family is there and you're yeah, celebrating. Bring them into the shot. Bring them tell in, them you're celebrating a big birthday, in. right? I just celebrated my 30th, you know, on June 26th. It's been kind of two weeks of nonstop celebration. So this is kind of ending it all on like a really high note, I think. Where's your family? We want to see them. Are they close? Bring them in. Let's see the pride. See them on TV. Come on, come on, family. Don't be shy. There they are. Oh Look at your gorgeous family. Oh my God. It warms my heart. Enjoy, enjoy this day. You deserve Thank you it. You deserve it and you so much more. Congratulations, Congratulations to all of you. Thank you for having me. You can watch the parade locally here in the New York area on WABC. That is 11 a.m. And we'll be right back here on live.